everybody and happy Mardi Gras to everybody. My name is Pam Brown and I'm the chairperson of the Maryland Association of Local Management Boards. About a year ago, all the local management board directors were talking together about creating some sort of an award that would really recognize a state or county leader that really put vulnerable children and families first. Our notion is that it really does take leadership and the bully pulpit to make change for children and families. Well, lo and behold, along came our governor, Larry Hogan. And since his beginning as our governor, he really has changed the focus of our work. I think there's only so much money and there's only so much energy. And probably one of the most clever things he has done is give us a real strategic focus where we should be looking and how we should be looking. Looking at specific families and vulnerable populations, four in particular, disconnected youth who are out of school and out of work, children who are unaccompanied and homeless and in our school system, and hungry children is the third. So we thought about all of this, and this was after we thought about the award, and we suddenly said, you know, this award, which is the inaugural award for 2018, which is the Maryland Champion for Children and Families, should go to Larry Hogan. He is absolutely the right choice. But I didn't want to present it or to introduce Governor Hogan. But to pre present the award, I met a formerly disconnected youth in one of my programs three years ago. His name is Vernon Osborne. He, had, he did actually have his GED, but he was just working weekends, going nowhere. And we had a long talk, and I was very impressed with him, and I offered him an internship with me at my agency. Well, I won't bore you, but three years later, he's one of my most valuable employees. He's finishing his AA degree. He's going to go on to four-year college. He's one of our peer navigators, so he helps other youth. So Vernon will be presenting the award this morning. And now I get the great privilege of handing over to my county executive for Anne Arundel County, Stephen R. Shu. And I will only say that he is my very, very favorite county executive. <laughs> and he will introduce Governor Hogan. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Pam. I, uh, I'm the only county executive she's got, so she's really not saying much. Good afternoon to all of you, and I uh, especially want to acknowledge the local management boards and other agencies that are present here today. You are helping so many people throughout our, our state and county, and we appreciate everything you do throughout the day and year. Our state of Maryland and Anne Arundel County in particular are very prosperous places, very prosperous jurisdictions, and in fact, Anne Arundel County is ranked among the top 25 out of 3,000 counties in the United States in median household income. Yet, in the midst of all this prosperity, are people suffering from a range of pathologies, including food insecurity, low income status, joblessness, mental illness, post-incarceration status, disconnected youth, homelessness, and especially addiction. On the front lines of fighting all of these pathologies is the Anne Arundel County Partnership for Children, Youth, and Families, which is our LMB a state-supported local management board. Helping in their fight is our great governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan. Children in our county have no greater ally than our governor, who has steadfastly supported our efforts in fighting every challenge from the opioid crisis to poverty. His work through the Children's Cabinet has helped build local community plans that focus on special populations. This has made a huge difference to the strategic focus of our work at the local level. The local management board members, who include all the local child-serving agencies, are, for the first time, having real conversations about a two-generation approach to solve the problems of violence and poverty in our community. Larry Hogan has been an especially strong advocate for those among us who are struggling and an incredible supporter of the Anne Arundel County Partnership for Children, Youth, and Families. Please join me in welcoming the first Maryland governor from Anne Arundel County in over a century, Larry Hogan. Well, 
Wow, thank you very, very much. Uh, thank you, Steve. Uh, he happens to be my county executive here in Anne Arundel County, and I think he's doing a great job. Thank you very much for those kind remarks, and uh, Pam, thank you for saying all those nice things. I'm kind of humbled. I, you know, I'm a little embarrassed by all these wonderful things you're saying. I'm not sure I'm the right guy for this, but uh, thank you so much. I want to thank um, all of uh, the folks at the Governor's Office for Children uh, for putting together today's uh, ice cream social. Um, two things that you should know about me. One, I do care about vulnerable children. And two, you can probably guess I also like ice cream. So <laughs> by looking at me, you probably knew that already. Um, but so I did not want to miss this today, uh, this important event. Uh, it really is great to be here with all of you. Um, and honestly, this truly is uh, a real honor to have been chosen and to uh, receive this first ever uh, champion for Maryland's Children and Families Award. Um, I want to thank uh, Pam Brown, uh, Mike Clark, and the Maryland Association of Local Management Boards, along with all of the members of the local boards uh, and the members of our children's cabinet who are here today, along with many of our legislators. And I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you here today for the incredible work that you do uh, to help give uh, Maryland's most vulnerable children uh, more opportunities and a hope for a better future. As the um, governor of this state and as a father and grandfather, um, I understand that our most important obligation and responsibility is to the next generation of Marylanders. And our administration continues to champion legislation and best practices to protect uh, vulnerable children and to support our families and our schools uh, in order to make our state a place where everyone can thrive. Um, it all starts with education. Um, and I believe that every single child in Maryland deserves access to a world-class education, regardless of what neighborhood they happen to grow up in or what their circumstances are. Education um, has always been and will continue to always be our top priority. Our most uh, recent budget, once again, provides historically high funding, record funding for K-12 through education for the fourth year in a row. Um, this budget provides $6.5 billion for K-12 through education, which is above and beyond uh, the uh, legislative funding formulas. And every single school system in Maryland uh, will receive an increase in funding from the state. Uh, just last week, we announced a plan uh, to create a lockbox for education funding to ensure that the casino revenues go directly into K through 12 education and directly into improving schools and into the classrooms. <laughs> this uh, legislation will uh, guarantee and dedicate uh, $1 billion more directly to school construction and will provide a, a a commitment and a lockbox for a total increase in education spending of $4.4 billion. Um, we're fighting to improve our local school systems and to make them more accountable because the status quo simply is not good enough for Maryland's children. This year we introduced the Protect Our Students Act of 2018 and the Accountability and Education Act of 2018. And, uh, our uh, most recent budget also includes $11.5 billion more for Maryland's Medicaid program, which currently provides health coverage to 1.4 million Marylanders, including more than 147,000 children uh, through the Maryland Children's Health Program, which we've been fighting hard to protect. Um, we expanded the autism uh, waiver services dedicating a total of more than $24 million to allow more children to receive services in local communities throughout Maryland. We introduced the Fostering Employment Act of 2018 to establish a program to provide apprenticeship and job readiness training to foster care recipients and unaccompanied homeless youth. Um, just last week, I had the great privilege of meeting a lot of the foster youth uh, throughout the state that came down from counties all across the state to visit with us. Uh, they were visiting as part of the second annual Shadow Day, 
which was coordinated by my good friend, Delegate C.T. Wilson of, of Charles County and sponsored by our Maryland Department of Human Services. My shadow for the day was an incredible young man named Nate Neely from Washington County, who I was so impressed with, I'm pretty sure he's going to be governor one day, <laughs> although he's only 17. Um, he's got a great future ahead of him. Um, as we, as County Executive Shu mentioned, we're continuing our fight against heroin and opioid addiction in Maryland, which is tearing apart families and communities from one end of our state, one end of our nation to the other, and it's leaving a lasting impact on Maryland's children. Um, we've put a half a billion dollars into this fight. Uh, we just added to our recent budget three million dollars more in grant funding for local boards of education to implement policies and practices that address uh, heroin and opioid addiction and prevention and education. Uh, together, with all of you here in this room, we really are making some great strides for Maryland's children, um, but we cannot do it alone. And um, Maryland's local management boards are in our communities um, serving as critical and valued partners who are helping us to plan, to implement, and to monitor children and family services. I just want to thank all of you so much uh, for your tireless efforts on behalf of Maryland's families and children. Um, and uh, thank you so much. I truly am humbled uh, and honored to receive this award. And I strongly believe that with all of us continuing to work hard together uh, on behalf of Maryland's vulnerable children, that we, uh, we can and we will uh, continue to change Maryland for the better. So thank you all so much. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Osborne again. And on behalf of the Partnership for Children, Youth, and Families and the LMBs all around, um, thank you, Governor Hogan, for changing my life. No, it's an honor. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Vernon, you want to make a better picture? I want to say, uh, again, what an honor it is, but Vernon, Check out this guy. He's going to give me a few fashion tips. <laughs> I'm going to try to get some of these shoes. He's looking sharp today. I'm proud of him. <laughs>